already started! Dr. Nefarious must be around here somewhere. You sure everything's okay, Clank? Maybe Al should take a look at your circuitry. How do you like my special creation, Clank? I call him... Clunk. Your dopey friend seems to be quite fond of him. Say, maybe they'll change your show to Secret Agent Clunk! <laughs> Did you hear that, Lawrence? You put the wit in twit, sir. Yes, I do. Don't I? <laughs> Today, you will witness the dawning of a new era. For years, I plotted in secret, suffering endless disappointments. But soon, it will all be worthwhile. You will never succeed. Ratchet will put an end to your madness. The only ending in Ratchet's future is the end of his own life. <laughs> and you will have a front row seat. something, sir. The activation device! Now! Behold the final chapter of this galaxy's destiny. The Age of Robots! You are Lawrence! Oh, dear, that was your audition for Galactic Idol, wasn't it? My mistake, sir. Dreadfully sorry. By all means, sir. Carry on.
Clank, it's Dr. Nefarious, and that butler guy, and they've got Clank. They're, uh, holding you prisoner. How about that? <laughs> I guess I should be feeling pretty stupid right now. I don't suppose there's any chance he's the evil Clank. <laughs> yeah, didn't think so. <laughs> <laughs> I've been laughing so hard today, my sides ache. I must admit, Ratchet, you've proven to be a far more worthy adversary than that imbecile Quark. Alas, I have a galaxy to conquer, so our game must end here. It's a shame you won't live long enough to see the rest of your kind exterminated. <laughs> well, you, you get the idea. I'm sorry, Ratchet. This is all my fault. Knock it off, Clank. Nefarious did this, and he is gonna pay for it. For Metropolis and for what he did to Quark and Skid. You and I are gonna make sure of that. Come on, let's get off this planet before we end up dead. Or worse. ago, bio-obliterators devastated Metropolis. The devices have since disappeared and their current location is unknown. Galactic citizens are in a state of hysteria, reacting to news that Dr. Nefarious is planning identical attacks across the galaxy. We're live from Planet Marcadia with the Galactic President. Mr. President, how will the attack on Metropolis affect your chances for re-election this fall? I'm glad you asked, Darla. Our demographic research indicates that robots will make up 100% of the galactic population by this time next week. Now, of course, that's great news for my re-election campaign because, as you know, I'm half robot myself. I don't believe this. Everyone's acting like Nefarious has already won. Maybe he has. If we don't find those bio-obliterators soon, we're all going to be robots. Uh, not that there's anything wrong with that. Wait a second. Before the Star Cruiser blew up, didn't Quark say he was trying to find something? Yeah. It's a long shot, but I guess it's worth a try. The cruiser went down on planet Zeldrin. We'll go check out the crash site. Maybe we can find what Quark was looking for.
an escape pod. It must have come from the Star Cruiser. And look! Footprints! Someone else made it off that ship alive! We must have just missed them. This pocket crotchetizer is still warm. Ew. A call was recently made using the pod's emergency communicator. There is a recording. Taxi. I, uh, I need a cab to come get me right away. Whoa, this must be my lucky day. So where can I pick you up, sweet cheeks? Uh, I'm, a, I'm on planet Zeldrin. Just look for the gigantic wrecked Star Cruiser. You can't miss it. Rex Star Cruiser, huh? Yeah, you sound like a girl who knows how to party. What say you and me go to the cyber disco later on? Watch it, buddy. I mean, don't get fresh with me. Well, sorry, lady. I couldn't help myself. I mean, a woman like you in a dress like that. Oh, this. Yes. This is something I threw together. <laughs> so, where you headed? I'll tell you that when you get here. And if you keep this quiet, there's another five volts in it for you. Oh, one more thing. You have to have a spare charge pack for this thing. P20 crotchetizer, huh? This gets better every second. I should have known. What? That Quark had his sister? Huh? No, no, that he's still alive. That was Quark. <laughs> oh. But why did he not report back to the Phoenix? Because he wants us to think he's dead. I don't like it, Clank. Until we know what Quark is up to, we should keep this quiet. If the Q-Force finds out that Quark ran out on us, they might lose hope. I understand. I do not like it, but I understand. Hey, what's he got there? It is a data disk. Quark must have taken it from the Star Cruiser. That must be what he went back for. Let's get back to the Phoenix and decode it. Um, it is H-22's birthday! We're 
having a party! I don't know. Sounds more like a battle than a party. I told you he wouldn't go for it! You guys just hang in there. I'll be there as soon as I can. 